Hello guys, welcome to our second video on Adobe Photoshop interface. So after start up, you will always be greeted with this landing page. So this is where we will click to create our first document. Now this is where you are going to define your design, either meant for print or for digital purposes. So throughout the duration of our class, most of our designs will be geared toward digital usage. Okay, but then we're going to design for the print media as well. I'm going to walk you through it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is to know the dimension. So like you know, on Instagram, the dimension is predominantly 1080 by 1080, which is square. Designs that are meant for digital purpose always use pixel, okay? Now the designs that are meant for the print media, meaning designs that you will see physically on a paper, you will need to use inches centimeter or millimeter most of the times so now whenever you're setting the width and height you have to be careful ensure if it's for online purpose select the unit first and foremost that's what you're supposed to do select this unit first before you impute any value here and the reason is this if for instance i select 1080 by 1080 and the design is meant for print media now this is going to be bad because i will not know the actual size so for for me to know the physical size i will need to select millimeter now you see where we have problems so you need to select millimeter instead of pixels okay. so i'm going to select pixels since the design is meant for digital purpose okay now the orientation also matters so it's either it's portrait or it's landscape okay so we will ignore adbot for now so i'll go down to resolution now whenever you're designing for online purpose or for digital purpose you don't need to set the resolution to 300 72 is ideal but then if it is for the print media if you're taking it out for print you will need to set your resolution to 300 and setting it to 300 means that the printer will print with a very high will give you a very high quality printout to endeavor to always set your resolution to 300 it is for print media but then you can play around with it is for digital purpose make it 72 it's still ideal now for print you will need to set the color mode to cmyk for your screen or for digital purpose you need to set it to rgb there's difference between these two color mode you need to be careful with this as well so once we are done let me just make this 72 i'm going to click on create now we have created our very first document and it has taken us to the interface of photoshop so to your left you're going to see a number of tools which we will look at in our next video now we have the menu bar and next on the list we have the option bar and then we have a lot of windows that are opened even though i opened there was one i opened earlier so let me just close this so now these are different tabs so we have only one tab at the moment now this is where we have our layer panel and whole lots of others so we'll look at this in the next video so what we're most concerned with is how can we configure our workspace now currently this is referred to as your workspace so by default photoshop set this workspace to essential when i want to change my workspace when i select 3d and wait you can see the workspace has changed even though it's not much when i select graphic and web you can see it's making a number of changes to our work okay i can still go back and select other options but what we're going to do next is how can we customize our own workspace which is what we're going to learn now so how we do it is we're going to click on new workspace so you can create you can delete so let's say new workspace and let's give it the name you can just give it any name so i'll just call this tiger and i'll click save all right so now let's see how we can customize the interface for the sake of our own new workspace so this is our toolbar so i can actually drag this toolbar out so how to do that is click on click around here and then drag it out okay so I'll click and drag this out as well so we're actually trying to see how we can customize our interface so i'm going to take this out take this out okay i'm going to take the layers out as well virtually taking everything out okay let's see even the windows if you want you can move it around <laughs> so that's the interesting thing is very very customizable 
Okay, so now I'm going to drag this and bring it to my right. Okay, for this, I'll group them. So I'm going to close some of them that we don't need. So character, I'll just click and drag it here. I'll drag library, we don't need library, let me just close it. Layers, let's add layers here right here okay so property let's see um okay let's leave property for now okay this let's add it here as well so we'll now pick everything if you select this it's going to pick this out so you have to watch what you do so i'm going to click around here so i'll drag it in so whenever you see this blue line, you can now release. Beautiful. Okay. So now you have this here. Okay. Now that we have that here. So for the property. Okay. Let me drop this here. Good. So for this, I'll just drag it here here and then here so you can see we're able to easily customize our own workspace so it may not be ideal but just just to show you how you can customize your workspace now this is set to tiger when you set when you change the essentials now this is the default workspace that you saw earlier when i go back and i select tiger now it's now back to the workspace that we created so you can go back and move all this this is very simple to do you can move all this out okay so it may if it's looking daunting at first don't worry just try it the first time try it again the second time you'll get used to it okay so now uh, instead of doing it the way i did earlier i'm going to do it differently now so i'll just drag this and drop let's just bring this out okay let's arrange this for now okay i have this here let's arrange this here beautiful you can see this and all that so under here we just pick and drop property okay you can see the property down here you can drag it up you have your layers above it okay so this setting may be suitable for you so we just drag this and drop here beautiful so if whenever you close all this for instance i close down layer i can always go back to window you can see all of them so whatever you have checked here those are the number of things that you have on your workspace so i can go back and select layers so you you see layers is back so this is how you can easily customize photoshop to suit your design purpose okay so see you guys in the next video where we'll look at these tools and how we can use them